Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Heddy wanted to give you an update on uh, rain. We finally got rain rolling in. Um, I'm actually working from home today. Um, I'm sick. I got a sinus infection and... Um, yeah, so sinus infection, a little bit of a fever, but I'm doing okay. Sam's going to do the on-air shows for me. Uh, actually, look at this shirt. One of my, I guess I got to go that way. One of my friends gave this to me, and when they bought it, they had, they didn't realize that meteorologist was spelled wrong, so it's my meteorologist shirt. All right, guys, I hope you had a great weekend, of course. Uh, we have some clouds out there, even a few random little showers, which have been picking up over the past couple hours. Most of these are in northeastern Oklahoma, but you can see some light little kind of sprinkles, light little showers right on the south side of the metro, and then down once you get toward uh, Grand Lake. Now where you see the yellows, that's a little bit heavier, some showers, maybe even a few embedded little thunderstorms as we go through the evening. But look at this increasing out across north central Oklahoma. So Tulsa, north of Oklahoma City, Ponca City, uh, just to the southwest of Wichita. So all this is actually going to be heading toward us as we go through the overnight hours tonight. I really think through the evening hours, just kind of some hit and miss little showers, but we are going to get a bigger batch. See this batch developing out to the south of Amarillo, just to the east of Lubbock, uh, across the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. This is going to shoot northeast pretty much along the I-44 corridor and give most of us some pretty good chances for some showers and thunderstorms, especially after midnight for us tonight. And that is definitely something we need. Then if we go to the Pacific Northwest, here's our next storm system. This will affect us late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning with another cold front. Also will give us some chances for some showers and thunderstorms, especially the northern counties as we go through the overnight hours on Tuesday night. All right, a little windy out there for us today. You can see those southerly winds kind of kicking in. Uh, most of us about 10 to 15. We've had gusts over 20 at times ahead of this weak little wave. Looking outside, here's 7th and range line. Uh, currently it's at 79, so it's warmed up fairly nicely across the region. Here's your evening planner. The clouds will continue to thicken. We could get a random sprinkle, random shower, hit and miss throughout the evening hours, but our better chances for rain will increase after midnight tonight. You can see our overnight low is going to dip down to about 62 by the time we head into the morning hours. All right, let's go through time. Here's your future track. A lot of clouds tonight. Again, a hit and miss, random shower. This is 11 p.m. After 11 p.m., showers, even a few thunderstorms will start to increase. So here's 2.30 in the morning. The heaviest of the rain is going to be a long and south of the I-44 corridor. Let's continue into the morning hours. Here's about 6 a.m., most of us getting rain, showers, even a few scattered thunderstorms. Uh, so it's going to be a wet start, so the roads are going to be wet for most of us during the morning hours. As we continue through the morning, heaviest rain is out of here by 8.30, 9, 9.30 in the morning. And then for the rest of the morning into the early afternoon, we just had these kind of hit and miss little showers, especially in our southern county. So you can see here's 1.30 in the afternoon and then a little bit of sunshine during the afternoon we should warm up to about 78 degrees for an afternoon high all right let's look at system number two we're going to go into tomorrow night so here's 2 30 in the morning wednesday morning heaviest rain now is going to be to our north but we'll get a front that drags in wednesday morning and this will at least give us chances to get some more scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, I really think this is going to stay in our northern counties. So kind of tonight, the heavier rain will be in the southern counties. And then tomorrow, the heavier rain will be in our northern counties and two central parts of Missouri. And then this front's going to roll through. So we'll have morning showers on Wednesday. And then Wednesday afternoon looks pretty good. Partly sunny skies. And we warm into the mid-70s. All right, here's your Tuesday day planner. Starting at 64, 69 by noon. Again, on and off showers through the morning. I think mostly cloudy skies by the afternoon. And then our high temp, 78 to 79 degrees. Rainfall amounts, uh, not super heavy, but I do think tonight a lot of areas can pick up two tenths of an inch, quarter of an inch, maybe some isolated half inch amounts, which that is something we 
definitely need. We are in a hardcore, hardcore drought. But again, um, if you ever listen to my videos, we're in the new pattern now. So we're starting to see some changes, which is good. It's not going to be a great pattern, but uh, it, at least we're going to get better rain chances. All right, so tomorrow, 78, scattered thunderstorms, mainly in the morning. Wednesday, 74, scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly northern counties, mainly in the morning. Thursday looks good. Friday looks good. Thunderstorms with our next system late Saturday, Saturday night. And then we cool back down on Sunday with some morning showers. Uh, another weak little wave on Tuesday that could give some showers. A little bit cooler for us next week. But at least, finally, guys, we are seeing some rain chances. In the forecast, something we just have not really seen much of. All right. Um, like I said, Sam's going to be on tonight. I'm going to be doing kind of the behind the scenes social media stuff just because I'm running a low fever. But if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below the video and we will chat soon.